I'm very pleased to welcome San Schweppe, a senior account manager from Feeding America. If you don't mind, before we get to some other questions, would you share a little bit about your path or your journey to the Feeding America role? Okay. Yeah, thank you, John. Um, so I um, work as uh, the senior account manager for AgriSourcing Partnerships, but I'm specifically like in charge of dairy partnerships. And um, I've lived on a dairy farm my entire life. So uh, I understand dairy, I guess you could say, from grass to glass, like right. the whole supply chain. Um, so our dairy farm is in southwest Indiana, and um, our family has been farming uh, that farm since 1871. And uh, I got my graduate degree in global pathway sustainability and organizational leadership, and just by chance found the job opening at Feeding America, and I applied. And uh, the very next day, I got a call from Karen Hanner, who was uh, the vice president of supply chain, and she asked if I would come in for an interview. And I guess the rest, you say, is history. And we're happy to be part of that history. And when I say we, I mean not just Gleaners the Food Bank that serves 21 Indiana counties, but Fresh Connect Central, that regional co-op that we operate here, and it's trying to be a good provider for our sister food banks across at least nine states. Um, we often are trying to make the case to local donors, local partners, and others about additional resources, additional complexity. You know, we've, we've left behind a model of passively waiting for whatever loose cans and boxes people chose to donate to a really strong push for nutritional, perishable foods. We all started with produce, but we, we want to move on to even more dairy and even more protein. And can you take it to a bigger than Indianapolis picture, a bigger than central Indiana picture, and just share a bit from your perspective why it matters and why there's a sense of urgency of getting more of this food into the system? Why is this so important? What really like inspires me and I see happening here at Fresh Connect and at Gleaners is the work that you can do to impact people's lives. And you think about you think about children, right? And and if you can help a child have a better breakfast or have breakfast, right? That sets them up for success for that day in school. But not only does it set them up for success that day by doing a simple thing and sharing and um, getting that child breakfast, you set them up for an improved school day, but also how much that impacts their life. Right. It just, it sets people up for success if, right. if you take away that worry. I want to take it a little further with that question too, in terms of why the push for dairy? Why, why the push for protein? You know, we've, we're, we've made progress on the push for um, produce. And, and maybe if you want to introduce a little bit about the waste that's going on in the system too, because to me that's part of the answer of why. When you say those things, I'm, I'm connecting things in my mind, like with um, this cheese rescue program mm -hmm. that we've got going on right now. And cheese is a wonderful product. It's very versatile. Um, so we have a partner who is capturing like cheese bits and pieces that's left over after making the nice, beautiful pieces that you see in, in the deli counters. And um, they're repurposing that and bringing it into a shredded program. So it's a low cost model. It's, wow. it's a food waste solution and they're also providing transportation. So it's a logistics solution. Um, and each serving of cheese will deliver 10 grams of protein. And when you think about the protein that people need, whether it's, whether it's children, adults, you know, older, older adults, you need protein to regenerate tissues. You need protein. It's, it's brain food. And um, yes, it's, it's a fantastic program. You mentioned sustainability a little while ago too. You know, we're, we're obviously motivated primarily by feeding our neighbors, and particularly those we haven't been able to feed before for lack of resources or access for them or for us. Um, but is there anything you want to share about Feeding America is also focused on avoiding waste at the farm level. Why the focus also on sustainability and avoiding waste? Well, it just makes sense to be efficient. The last thing farmers want is waste. There are so many inputs that go into 
you know, growing our food and to figure out all the people and um, through the supply chain who can help provide solutions um, and, and not say, okay, it's okay to let that go. No, let's, let's figure out what we can do to repurpose that food and bring it back into like its highest use, which is for people. Right. And um, Feeding America, we're really focusing on that and, and working with partners. And I think we're just at the tip of what we can build there. Right. So let me shift now a little bit to maybe a two-part question. Um, obviously, Gleaners, as we just said, is both a regional food bank with our own geographic area of primary responsibility, but we also operate Fresh Connect Central, the co-op. We obviously are biased, but think both are critical. Mm -hmm. But maybe share your thoughts on why both roles are important. So if you want to give a little feedback on the best way to play both roles or where you see us evolving in either role, I'd welcome to hearing that too. Each each place has is serving such a huge need. Right. Like gleaners right here in the local community where everyone can see, like when they donate here locally, you can right. see the impact, right? But when I think about Fresh Connect and the impact you're having on communities across the region, it's incredible because Gleaners is in such a thriving area, right? There, right. there are so many companies here that want to be involved in this space, and there's so many things going on, but not every food bank is blessed with that local right. environment, right? right? And that's what I think is just so wonderful about Fresh Connect is the, the reach you have and the impact you can have in communities just across the region. I, I want to make sure that we don't end without talking a little bit about the role of government agencies too. You know, the scale mm -hmm. is huge. Yes. And the charitable sector is far less, even though our work is large. So um, where do you see in terms of opportunities or where might you share a message or opportunity to get involved with USDA, for example, and their programs? So we've been working a lot with, I'll just speak specifically to the dairy donation program right. over this last month. We've been working a lot with USDA. And the more conversations you have, the more each of you learn about what you need to know right. about the other organization. Right. And I think that's really important in building those partnerships. And we're continuing to do that and talk about like how the Feeding America supply chain works and how the USDA programming wants to work and then how we can merge those things so we create efficiencies and we just build more success. And the USDA is hands down our number one partner with helping to source food, absolutely. And, right. and we need to just keep those conversations happening. Right. Is there a way the public or our Gleaners supporters can help in that process? Well, I think always advocating with your representatives um, at, you know, state and national, local level, you know, to get involved in, in food security and to ensure that. Because when you think about it, um, when you ensure food security, you ensure everyone's success. Right. Sam, thank you. Thank you so much, John. I love what you guys are doing here at Gleaners, and I look forward to like helping build the success. Thank you.